Once again, this is Rain, and I'm going to teach you a little bit more about Gary's Mod. Now, in my last tutorial video, I mentioned that a really great way to keep Henry's animation tool updated is to use the SVN. And you'll actually notice that a lot of add-ons for Gary's Mod use something called SVN. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to use that, so I'm going to clear up a few things. Also, a lot of people don't really understand what that is. Um, basically, SVN is uh, a file folder kept on the add-on creator's website where they um, update their add-on pretty regularly with bug fixes, patches, and so on. And it allows the user to download these regular updates and keep their add-on, you know, fresh. And, uh... I use a program called Gmod SVN Updater, which uh, you can get from the download link I supplied in the description. It's very simple and straightforward. And uh, once you get to that page, you just click the download link uh, right here. And it's a very small file. And uh, just unzip that to your desktop or wherever you want your phones to be it doesn't really matter this doesn't require any installation or everything just open up the folder and click gmod SVN updater and it is probably going to ask for an update just go ahead and click OK and then I had to open the application again to start it uh, properly update and that's what it's going to do and it took several minutes to do that so I, I just skipped ahead right here this is when it's completely updated so first thing you want to do with this program is click browse where it says your gmod islands folder and navigate to it's usually going to be under c program files or program files x86 under steam steam apps uh, then um, username slash Gary's Mod and Gary's Mod and click your add-ons folder and OK. And when you go up here you can click the uh, plus sign to see a list of all the different add-ons that you can download and just put a check by whichever you want to download or you can check the uh, root category to download all of them from that category. And uh, just as an example we're gonna we're gonna try out this so just put a check to the left of it to download and then click the download slash update button and it will say up here starting download and it will give you a uh, correct progress bar right and I already got it so I'm just stopping it right here and however those were all built in SVNs now if you want to keep something like Henry's animation tool updated you need to find the SVN URL as it's listed in the uh, Gary's Mod download page. Where it says SVN link, just uh, you know, copy that and click where it says custom SVNs. Now up here, you're going to want to click under URL and paste that link. And as for the name column, just you know, name it what it is. Henry's animation tools. And under download directory, um, the directory defaults to the Gmod add-ons folder. So, you know, you just want to put like slash Henry's animation tools if you want that to be the name of the folder in your add-ons. But I don't think it really matters uh, what you name it. Anyway, once you're done with that, just uh, click save. And you'll see a new category up here under custom add-ons. So I put a check by that and download it. Of course, I already have a copy, so it's going to ask to overwrite. And you know, there it is, downloaded very quickly. And anytime you want to update it, just uh, put a check mark by that again and press download update. It will either say, you know, update not necessary, or it will uh, say upgraded from version 12 to 13 and so on. But uh, yeah, that's all you really need to know. This has been Rain again.